Hi, I'm Heather Porter, author of Body Back. After my third child, I experienced far more hair loss than I had with the other two pregnancies. When you're pregnant, your hair pretty much stays in place and you don't have so much daily fallout. After you've had the baby and your hormones readjust, it can take up to nine months for your hair to then make up for it and it feels like you're losing it all at once. If you notice there's too much hair on your brush or in the shower or on your shoulders at the end of the day, you need to do something about it. Hair is made up of keratin, like the males, and also found in mammals' hooves. So to replenish our protein stores, keratin is a tough protein, we need to increase our protein intake. Great example of protein is eggs. A great breakfast for your hair would be a breakfast with eggs. Protein is also found, for example, in fish and chicken and other meats. Silica is also very important for your hair and your nails. It is a tissue salt found in broccoli, cucumber, Likewise, you could get a supplement, tissue salt supplement, silica, vitamin B is a very good supplement, and many foods contain vitamin B. Beware of the salt intake because salt is a very dominant mineral, therefore it pushes out other minerals from your cells. My trichologist, Philip Kingsley, actually prescribed gelatin supplements for me during that time to help my hair growth and to help my hair recover from the pregnancy. For more Body Back tips, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and also pick up a copy of the Body Back book.